Welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 4, Lock in a Hard Place. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. Boya, what comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. Uh-oh. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, always is far from over. going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? Uh, the Witherstorm isn't dead yet, not even close. The what now? Who are you? Oh Jesse, God. Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're over here! No way, no way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? need to get out of here now! This way! Jesse! You made it! And... Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Uh. Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Oh, okay. Soren? I can't stand by and watch! I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger. Okay, you're putting good. us in danger every second you just stand there. <laughs> Jesse, they're falling behind. Axel, you gotta move faster. She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot. We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! Um, Can we him. build a portal? If somebody has the right materials... We don't. I haven't seen Obsidian since the end. Then we'll have to use the next best thing. Horses. Everybody, get on! Yeah, I'm sure the horses will be okay with that. We got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra. Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Come on, horses. Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! <laughs> Everyone, follow me. <laughs> Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> he 
It's gaining on us! No offense, Go but you faster. can use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. Trish. Blocks. I got some. It's getting closer. Hurry it up. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Uh, Axel, you're screaming in oh my, my ear. God, there's like a billion of Sorry. We actually freaking made it! Made it where? Where are we? Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. You don't Gabriel, know who you are. it really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Magnus. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. He doesn't recognize me either. Well, he only just met you. But for him to forget us? <sighs> you, you're the one who rescued me. Yeah. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. Doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. 
I uh, never blame myself for anything. <laughs> ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? I don't know. My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. Uh, what went bomb wrong? Failed. The Formida bomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan oh, was a total like failure. Three. I it's should like have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Yeah. That's <sighs> your job. I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you yep. have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. Oh, yeah? Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey. It's okay. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know. And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, uh -oh. easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. And what if Gabriel's wrong? In case you haven't noticed, he's not exactly firing on all cylinders right now. I've got to try, Jesse. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself. But Lucas... Jesse, let's be honest. You've never really treated me like I belong with you guys. What? You once even told me to stay away from Reuben. So it's time I go <laughs> find my real friends. I mean, it's probably past time anyway. Oh, I told everybody to stay away Trust from me. my pick. You won't even miss me. You're being stupid. You could get killed out there. And wanting to help my friends makes me stupid? Yeah. I don't need this. I'm going after the people who get what friendship actually means. Um, but they're all douchebags. Okay, bye. Get out. I don't need you. Just stow us down. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. I'm not gonna lie, man. But we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse. Who is this person? I told you. He keeps insulting me. <laughs> One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. You're looking at the King of Boomtown. Or should I say the former King of Boomtown? Sounds impressive. Aw, oh, shucks. And how do I know his majesty exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You're both members of the Order of the Stone. And what's that? <laughs> the Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. I'm not really sure what would be useful. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. No, 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 no. Anything but that. Come on, it's what you're famous for. <sighs> well, all right then. The Ender Dragon. You see, it was huge. And dangerous. And 
For a while there, it looked like we were goners. But you know who stepped in and killed that thing? Um, was it Jesse? Huh? Yeah. No! It was you, man! You killed it! Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Um... Horsies. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Uh, did you? I don't remember that. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. Oakley, Oakley. Um. What are we doing? How about this way? Anything over here? No, no. How about no? What are we doing? There's nothing to do. Oh. How about them? Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Still. I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should mm, rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, she then I'm out? <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not gonna make it. No, no way. I'm not a uh, quitter. Whatever. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, mm. Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, Probably. it's Petra's call to make. <laughs> Sorry, Ruben. Winky. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> you hurt my piggy feeling. Reuben! Oh, not again. I have to go after him again. Reuben! Where'd Soren go? Don't run off on me like that, okay? <laughs> I don't want to lose you, you understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. <laughs> well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? What? 
Ivor. Ivor? This isn't about the past. It's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically, I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to it's be... It's the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> really? Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? Oh, I knew it. You he see, I for a reason. may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? Uh -huh. I... I didn't know. Ah, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing oh, can stop those things. Amulet, so Nothing even hurts them. Throw away well, the amulet? except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Soren, do you think Enderman could actually destroy one of those things? Well, it's not beyond imagination. If there were enough of them working together, it's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least... Not um, for mere mortals. Use the amulet. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes. Yes, that's it. That we'll with them. lead them straight into a massive trap. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formida bomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Ivor, how could you keep this secret? Oh, believe you me, keeping secrets is easy. So I made something. An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. Hey. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? Getting closer. I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello. My name is Gabriel. <laughs> Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that where the storms <laughs> are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? 
The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. Why, Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three Witherstorms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's well, Fortress. He's dead. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. <laughs> Jesse, I'm going with him too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Sure. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Well, never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The griefer hey. grab? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. <laughs>